Now let me show you how to use this tool. Turn around the blade according to the arrow. Then pull out the blade directly. Turn the release blade button. Take out the blade from the blade storage, and choose the one you need. You can put the useless blade back to the blade storage. Turn the blade anti-clockwise according to the arrow, and it can be fixed. Impulse regulating. Turn the impulse regulating gear to achieve the high or low impact force. Start to make the modular jack. Strip the jacket. Straighten out the wires. Put the wires into the wire groove according to the T568B or T568A wire sequence. Use punch down tool to press the wires to the bottom. Use a punch down tool to cut the wires. Make sure that the wires are at the bottom and there is no more extra wires. Lift the cap. If the situation in the video occurs, the lid will not be closed. Use cable tester to test. If signal shows good, then insert the plug into warp plate and connect it to the Ethernet cable. Question 1. Does it need the same brand of Keystone Punch Down Stand? Yes, it's only compatible with VCE Keystone Punch Down Stand. Question 2. Can I use this jack on CAT 5E or CAT 5 cable? Is it backward compatible? Yes, it is backward compatible with CAT 5 and CAT 5E cable. Question 3. Are these jacks UL listed? Yes, they are UL listed. You can use them without any concern.